Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rama. If first time you are stopping by, I'm Nigeria designer based in Lagos, Nigeria. And if I will turn up subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. And today we are drafting a basic trouser pattern. Now this uh, basic pattern we are drafting, I also added one inch is its allowance to the pattern. Um, before we move right into the today's tutorial, have you subscribed to my channel? Even was make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give my video a thumbs up and ring the notification bell so that wherever I post a new video, you will be notified. So let's move right into it. So I'm going to use these two two color of marker to draft the pattern that we are making because we are drafting both and front together. So at top. At the my, my pattern hedges, I come down by two inches, which is going to be my top line or also the waistline. So I'm just ruling a straight line here. So I'm also label it my waistline. So for my waistline, there I'm coming down by eight inches, which is distance between my waist to the hip line. And also measure my cross length, which is eleven. So from waist to the cross length, it's 11. So I'm using 11 there. I took my set square to connect the points together. The next thing to do now is to take in our waist measurement. My waist is 29. 29 plus 1 inches is allowed, which is going to be 30. So I divide that 30 by 4 inches, which will give me some points. 5 plus 1 inches starts which I also marked there. So that's my hip line there. I measured, I divided my hip measurement by four inches. My hip is 40 plus one inches is allowance, which is going to give me 41. So if I divide 41 by four, it's going to give me 10.25, which I also marked the measurement there. I took my set square to connect the points together from the waist to the hip line. So from the crunch line then, I'm going to measure the measurement that I took from the hip line, which is 10.25. I'm going to took it also from the crunch line there. So after doing that, I took my, my set square to connect the points together. Cross line together and then my hip line. I also used my cuff to connect the points from the hip lines to the cross line together. Which I also label it my hip line. My crush line. Guys, I forgot to measure it at the beginning of this tutorial that we are going to use both inches and centimeter to draft this pattern. So to get my crush length right, I'm going to compare my hip measurement, which is 41. I'm confining it to centimeter. So if I convert my 41 inches to centimeters, it's going to give me 104. So I have my own 104 centimeter there. So I'm going to divide this by 20 cm by 20. So if I divided it by 20, it's going to give me 5.2. So guys, this 5.2 cm that we got there, that's the measurement we are going to take at our cross line. So I'm going to took it there. I'm going to measure my 5.2 there. So I'm just took my set square now to rule in a straight line there. So at my hip line, and I at my hip line in the center from there, I'm going to come out by 0.5. So now I use my core filler to connect the point together. 
Now let's go back to our inches now. So at my cross line there, I'm going to find the middle point from the side, the cross front line and the center front. So I'm going to find the middle point. What I have there is 12.2. So if I divide 12.2 by 2 inches, it's going to give me 6.1. So I mark my 6.1 there. So my length is 40 inches, which I also took. So I'm going to roll in a straight line there. And connect it from my cross line to the line, my trouser length. Sorry guys, my marker is not writing very well. So I not use my paint. I hope you guys see it clearly. So after drawing a straight line there, the next thing to do now is to find our new lens. There are two ways of finding your new lens. Either you measure it from your client's bodies or from the cross line to the trouser length. You are going to find the middle point between the two lines. So I have 29 there. So if I divide 29 by 2, it's going to give me 14.5, which I also took there. And that place is going to be my new line. The next thing to do is to measure our knee length. So my, I'm using 18 inches for the knee length there. So I'm going to divide my 18 inches by 2, which is going to give me 9 inches. So I'm going to share the 9 inches on both sides, which is 4.5. So guys, the measurement that I took at, the, at my new line there, the same thing, I'm going to also took it at my trouser length which is nine inches so i'm gonna divide nine inches on both sides four and a half four and a half inches on both sides so i'm going to mark it so the next thing to do now is to connect the point together from new, from new line to the trouser length So after connect the points together from my cross line there, I'm also going to connect it to the new length. I mean the new line. So I'm using my core flow now to connect the point together. So after finishing doing that, I'm going to roll a straight line down from the cross line to the waistline. So from there, I'm going to tuck in my waist mesh, uh, waist dart, which is one inch. So I'm going to divide one inch on both sides. Uh, my dart length is four inches. So I'm using four inches for the dart length. So I'm going to connect the points together. So after doing that, from the side front, I'm going to come up by half an inch. And use my curl flat to connect it to the side, eh, I mean the front center crush. Guys, this is how the front pattern is going to look like. So now, let's move to the back from the plane that you see me pointing out i'm going to measure what i have there from there to the center cross line so i have 4.2 inches there i'm going to divide it by two which is going to give me 2.1 plus one inches which is going to be 3.1 inches so i'm going to mark 3.1 inches from the center cross line so I mark my 3.1 inches. I'm going to draw in a straight line there. And that place is going to be my starting point for back pattern. 
so from my red line there i'm going to measure my waistline so my waist is 30 inches so 30 inches divided by 4 which is going to be, give me 7.5 the same thing to the hip line i'm using 41 inches so this 40 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 10.25 so the measurement that I took at the hip line, I'm also going to took it at the crush line. So I'm using my curve right now to connect the points together. I'm also rule the line out. So the next thing to do now is to find our crush back length. So the same thing that we did when we want to get our crush length for the front, we are also going to do it for the back. So I'm going to convert my 41 inches to CM. It's going to give me 104. So I'm going to divide 104 by 2. It's going to give me 52. So is that 52 that I'm going to divide it by 24, which is which is giving me 2.1 so this is my 2.1 cm that i got so that is the measurement i'm going to take for my back crush length so the way that i see me placing my tape measurement there i measure 2 cm there you can divide not to do so just for a guide so i'm going to connect the points together I've already marked my 2.1 cm. Sorry guys, I didn't show you. I don't know that my phone has stopped working in that area. So I'm just connecting it to give me my back crush line. I'm just connecting the line together. So the next thing to do now is from the new uh, the new line there i'm going to come out by one inches on both sides one inches on both sides the same thing applied to the to the length there so i'm measuring one inches there one inches one inches so i'm going to use a ruler to connect the point to get a And also use my coffee to connect it to the first line. The same thing to the side back. Just look at the way I'm placing my ruler. It's not straight, just slanted to the knee length. So the next thing to do now is to take in our back darts. So we are going to divide our back waist into two. We have I have eight point five inches there. I'm going to divide it into two. So wherever I get, I'm going to mark it there. So my dart length is five point five because our back uh, dart is longer than the front dart. So I'm taking in my half an inch, half an inch on both sides. So I'm just connecting the point together now. So the next thing to do now is at the side back, I'm going to raise it up by half an inch. 
so i'm just to connect it to the side front to the side front so from the back crush line i'm going to come up by one inches i use my curve puller to connect the point together just look at the way i'm doing it so guys this is our pattern is looking right now the next thing to do now is to transfer this pattern into another paper we are going to separate the back and the front so i'm going to transfer into another paper i'm going to do it off the camera so after then i'm going to show you how it's looking so guys this is how it's looking this is the back pattern so i went ahead i added half an inch all the way around and for the m line i added two inches for the m line So I'm just showing you the half inches that I had it all the way around. And this is how the front is also looking. The same thing that I did to the back, I also did it to the front. I had it half an inch all the way around and plus two inches for the M line. So at my at my hip line there, I'm going to slash it. There are two ways to raise your uh, your crush back up. First, you can do it at the waistline or at the hip line. You are just slash the way I'm doing so. So I'm going to slash it and put another paper there. So I'm marking one inch is there. It depends how your client bumper is. So I'm using one inch for mine. So I'm using my tape to tape it together. So the next thing to do now is I'm using my cuff ruler now to blend it. And I'm I'm going to cut it, cut out the excess. So guys, this is going to be the end of our today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, give my video a thumbs up and also ring the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you'll be notified. And also leave a comment if you have any questions to ask me. So in my next video, we are going to make a proper trouser. See you guys in my next video.